the whole story of Princess Lilibet and Prince Archie's title row. Despite their parents giving up the royal life, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's two children will still be referred to as Prince and Princess, it has now been announced. Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana weren't granted the designation of HRH when they were born. The two children were not eligible for the coveted title because they were the monarch's great-grandchildren. Whether or whether Prince Harry's and Meghan Markle's children use their royal titles has long been a hot topic of discussion due to the couple's tense relationship with the royal family. Interest grew as rumors of disputes behind the scenes emerged after the passing of Queen Elizabeth II in September. There has supposedly been a decision taken recently, ending years of speculation. On Wednesday, word came that one-year-old Lilibet had been baptized. On March 3, a ceremony was held at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Montecito residence. I can confirm that Princess Lilibet Diana was christened on Friday, March 3 by the Archbishop of Los Angeles, the Reverend John Taylor, a spokeswoman for the pair stated. It was the first time Lilibet had ever been addressed in public as Princess, a title she was given upon her grandfather King Charles III's ascension but that has been the subject of great debate. The King was informed of Harry and Meghan's plan to use the name for their children, a royal source has since confirmed, adding that the right consultations have taken place ahead of today's news, of Lilibet's christening. Express. Co. UK looks back at how the dispute over Archie and Lilibet's royal titles played out as it appears to be coming to an end. Offspring of a Duke. It was established that the Sussex's firstborn will not hold the HRH title when he was born in May 2018. For the children of Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, the late Queen Elizabeth II intervened in the past to alter the regulations, however, this did not apply to any future children of Harry. It was believed that Harry's children would be addressed as children of Duke because he is younger than his brother, a point that is particularly highlighted in his autobiography Spare. As historian Marlene Kenig told Express. Co. UK in September, if there were plans for Harry's children to bear the same titles when Charles became king, the Queen may have included in the letter's patent, the offspring of all sons of the Prince of Wales. She chose not to at that time. Therefore the presumption was that they would be styled as children of a duke. This is in accordance with the 1917 letter's patent that King George V issued, which stated that the children of any sovereign of these realms and the children of the sons of any such sovereign, as per the above letter's patent of 1864, and the eldest living son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales, a modification of the letters patent of 1898, shall have and at all times hold and enjoy the style, title or attribute of Royal Highness with their titular. The others would be styled as a duke, Miss Kenig said. Before, every male line was known as H.H. H. Prince, with the exception of the Prince of Wales's offspring. The firstborn child of Kate and William, regardless of gender, would obtain the HRH Prince or Princess titles when Queen Elizabeth revised the 1917 letters patent to include all children of the first son of the Prince of Wales in 2012. Victoria Arbiter, a longtime royal critic, stated that the Queen's alteration suggests Harry's offspring were never intended to be burdened with an HRH, knowing Harry would one day marry and have children of his own she could have revised the ruling to include all grandchildren of the Prince of Wales, but she didn't, she wrote in an article for the Australian publication Nine Honey last year. Yet, there was an abrupt change upon the death of Queen Elizabeth and the accession of King Charles. Archie and Lilibet both acquired the right to wear prince and princess attire. The offspring of any sovereign of these realms and the children of the sons of any such sovereign, as defined in the 1917 letters patent.